Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily stock market update and we will figure out is it bearish market trend, what's going on with the stock market world on a daily time frame. As usually, let's move to my 5 rules of risk management, please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful. Now it's the time for trading view. Let's start from trading view, stock market hit map based on the all USA companies, market cap and daily performance. My name is Vadik. And looks like the heat map is not very heat. Kind of mixed mode, a lot of red, flat, and some green. But not so strong, not so green. Just mixed mode. Now let's move let's move to my watch list and we will do technical analysis review. If you want to learn more about trading view setup, just go to the description. There is the link about trading view setup training and other links about all my trainings. Now let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using simple moving averages, white line SMA 200, purple line SMA 100, blue line SMA 50, yellow line SMA 20, red line SMA 10 and green line SMA 5, below yellow line RSI line and Hikanachi bars. That's all, very simple, it's not easy because emotions involved. If you follow the indicators, you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions. Like on my chart, like on my chart, uh, green circle, SMA5 did bullish crossover over red line, it was bullish trend and red circle, when SMA5 did bearish crossover over red, it was bearish trend. Last two bars, they bounce from the bottom. It's a DXY daily time frame, right? It's nice bounce. Still buy signal from the script, still below SMA 20, still bearish territory. Are signs like an actually bullish crossover? It's getting positive, but not confirmed yet. Not still below SMA 20. Still in the bearish territory. It's a bullish for equities, but let's see. NASDAQ. Triple Q daily time frame minus now minus quarter percent, but today it was nice positive run. But yeah, we will get that in. And SMA 5 did bearish crossover over 10 and last bar below SMA 5, 10, and 50. Bearish reversal signal. It did touch gap, gap below. Still gap in the place and then one gap above and multiple gaps below. I was thinking that it, it would, maybe it, it will still fill this gap above. But so far, it's in the bearish reversal trend. Four hours time frame, look at it today. It did in the SMA 5, 10 and bars below SMA 20, it is bearish trend on four hours time frame and one hour time frame it did nice bounce you see it did touch the SMA 100 bounce from SMA 100 touch the SMA 50 and did a reversal from SMA 50 level nice technical picture right nice technical picture Nice. And RSI did, RSI did bearish crossover over Iconachi. It is in a bearish reversal, right? Bearish reversal trend. Now let's move to VXN, VXN volatility index. Volatility index from, uh, for, S, for NASDAQ. Still last bar below all moving, below SMA 20, still in the bearish territory as of now, minus six and a half percent. No fear on the market at all. SP 500 SPX. SPX, let's start from SPX. Still sideways, another sideways for several days, right? And uh, it's forming the top. Would be a bull trap or bearish reversal. Forming the top. It filled the last gap in the, in the, on the top. No gaps above, but gaps below only. 
on four hours time frame to, today did you see nice move and did reversal and now it's back to sma 20 sma 20 is still strong support line and one hour time frame last after the last three hours it was three hours bull run and three hours reversal and now last bar below us all moving averages except 100 and 200 still back in the bread in the bearish territory and bearish trend weeks volatility index for nasdaq i'm sorry for s p 500 last bar below sma 20 still bearish territory bearish position minus six and a half percent also no fear on the market at all, at all. just extreme greed dow jones dow jones very positive right still positive it did all time new high and today did again all time new high nice dodgy bar maybe it's a reversal bar it's yeah it, it is reversal bar maybe this time it will be reversed because you see bearish divergence on rsi below price action is uptrend and rsi is downtrend a definitely bearish reversal condition bullish trend as of now plus three quarter percent four hours time frame same bullish trend bearish divergence on rsi and one hour time frame last three hours it started reversal but still last bar above sma 20 even sma 10 still in the bullish territory rsi ready for bearish crossover iwm russell 2000 IWM Russell 2000 one hour time frame also started reversal but still positive plus one percent because last bar still above SMA 20 still in the bullish territory four hours time frame last bar above all moving averages still in the bullish territory IWM still positive and daily time frame last bar above all moving averages still in the bullish territory yeah, IWM bullish and Dow Jones bullish. NASDAQ and S&P 500 bearish. Dow Jones and IWM and Russell 2000 bullish. Especially Q is very negative. RVX volatility index for uh, Russell 2000 still in the bearish territory. Last bar below SMA 20. Apple. Apple. A daily time frame last bar about all moving averages last bar about all moving averages bullish territory bullish still be yeah, bull still bullish trend and let's see yeah today it's completely filled this gap you see this bar fill the gap this gap is completely filled that's what i expected and it, it completed now it's ready for the reversal that's what i expected for uh, queues to be completed also but queues didn't complete it apple ready for the reversal still bullish plus one and a half percent now four hours time frame last but about all moving averages still bullish with bearish divergence on the other side and one hour time frame did nice bounce and did gap up bounce and last three hours did reversal still in the reversal mode still above sma 20 last bar in the bullish territory tesla tesla one hour time frame same story gap up nice run was rejected all trap and was rejected and now it's back to bearish territory Four hours time frame, last bar below all moving averages except 200, still bearish trend, especially below 20 this bearish trend. And yeah, one hour time frame bearish, four hours time frame bearish, and daily. Daily, it did bearish crossover last three days and still runs at, at the same level because yesterday it touched SMA 200. Still above SMA 200, SMA 200 strong support line. 
it can yeah it can bounce from it but so far it is beige nvidia nvidia minus six and a quarter percent daily time frame we get nice sell off today sell signal and it touched sma 20 sma 20 strong support line it can bounce from this support line are decided bearish crossover bearish trend four hours time frame confirmed bearish trend last bar below sma 20 and then below sma 100 it is negative bearish one hour time frame last bar below all moving averages it even did touch the sma 200 sma 200 strong support line it can bounce from it and RSI close to oversold territory can bounce from it also. Microsoft, Microsoft one hour time frame did gap up this morning can get reversal reversal for last five hours. And it's so far it, it is dancing at the SMA 20 level yellow line. Bearish reversal mode. Four hours time frame, last bar still below SMA 20, bearish territory, bearish trend. And daily time frame, SMA 5 did bearish crossover over 10, and last two bars, they touched SMA 200 and kind of bounce sideways. Kind of still bearish and weak because you see SMA 20 yellow line ready for bearish crossover over 200. It is bearish setup. Amazon plus half percent daily time frame SMA5 and SMA20 especially did bearish crossover. It is bearish setup, bearish trend. Google daily time frame. Daily time frame last bar below SMA20 bearish trend. Four hours time frame, last bar below all moving averages, bearish trend. And one hour time frame, last bar below all moving averages, bearish trend. Meta, meta one hour time frame, last bar below all moving averages, bearish trend. Four hours time frame, last bar below all, below SMA 5, 10 and 20, bearish trend and daily time frame sma5 did bearish crossover over 10 and last two bars they touched sma20 it is bearish reversal signal on daily time frame for meta okay let's do summary let's do summary like i said dollar still in the bearish territory it's trying to get positive and do some reversal bullish crossover not confirmed yet uh, S P 500 on daily time frame and S P 500 and Qs on daily time frame did bearish crossover, not powerful yet. Qs the most powerful bearish now. Uh, on four hours time frame and one hour time frame, they definitely bearish. Qs and S P 500 on one hour time frame bearish. Dow Jones and IWM Russell 2000 still bullish. Market in that kind of mixed mode. Two indexes bearish, two indexes bullish, major indexes, and dollar is still weak in the bearish territory, still bearish. On daily time frame, still equity is positive, but on one hour time frames, they all in the bearish trend. And on the four hours time frame, they also in the bearish trend. That's all. That's all from my side. Let's move to disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational and, and informational purposes only. Remember, for educational purpose, we are using paper training simulator. Thank you for watching simple trading style videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.